part two. So I said to him, friendship's over, that's it. I says, and I'll pay for my own drink. He says, well, if that's how you feel, I'm just sorry that this friendship's got to come to an end because I've been honest with you. I says, Quentin, people like you want locking up. There's something mentally wrong with you. There is something seriously in the head missing. You're not firing on all cylinders. There's a, a wire missing upstairs. You sit here when we're having a drink and calmly say, calmly come out with it. I'm straight. I says, get real for fuck's sake. Nobody's straight today. You can't even be male or female today. You've got to be non-gender or something today, Quentin. You can't say I'm straight. I'm a straight British male, you'll be laughed at. People will associate me with you. This is gonna be no good for my reputation as a funeral director. Oh my God. So before it gets out on internet, before anybody finds out, yes, I've got a friend who's straight. I'm not proud of it, but I might as well have it Ah, that, well, that's told him. This is how we're going to come out with it, you know? He's got it off the chest. He's got it, Quentin's got it off his chest and I've got it off my chest. <laughs> I'm not going to fall out with him. What he does in bedroom with a woman's his own business. For Christ's sake. Why do they have to ram it down your throat? Well, I don't think he is ramming it down your throat. No, because he's, he's straight, he's just with women, isn't he? So, anyway, that's that. I hope you like this channel, because, yeah, we'll talk about what we do at work, and we will talk about depression. Anxiety, mental illness. See, I thought that with Quentin were all right to say, but some people have said, have you heard what he said? He's disgusting. He's actually admitted to having a straight friend. I'm just being honest. Be honest with people, be straight with people. It was a joke, because somebody, some stupid little troll, or trollop, He's going to say, have you seen what he's put on now? Oh, it was a joke. I oh, was kidding. All right. I've got gay friends. I've got straight friends. I've got black friends. I've got Pakistani friends. I'm privileged that I will mix with anybody. That's how it should be, Dave, isn't it? Yeah. I've got no friends. He wants an allotment. Billy no mates here. He has got friends, he's got plenty of friends. It's just that he hasn't found them yet, have you? No. If you want to be his friend, leave us a message. Leave us a comment. Because he goes on YouTube, he, go, he can actually answer your comments as well. Don't you? Yeah, I go on now and again, yeah. He's on now and again. Have a look. And he'll see what's being put on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, so yeah, you can leave Dave a message. And I'd like you to do that because if we're all nice and do that and support and help each other, this world would be a lot nicer place to be in. People think they're saying I'm brilliant for going and getting 500 Easter eggs for local school. Well, actually, no, I'm not. This kid here outside of me, went with me and sorted that out and brought them and unpackaged them and everything, didn't you, Dave? Yeah, and I had everything. Everybody. And he's not had a one, I don't think. No, no, not yet. Mind you, we were sick all afternoon yesterday. Kept running to the toilet being sick. And I don't see how there can be 38 empty boxes in them Easter eggs. He says, take them back, they were empty. 
I can't see him, he said. Kid cat face. I like my teasers though. He's got a face only a mother could look, uh, love, slap. Love. When I were on Woodfall, my, my mother used to send me out to play, well, throw us out. And other kids, I could hear them saying, I've told you, come on in. In here. Because they didn't want me to be near their kids because I made them look that ugly. And it's true. Anybody on Woodfall will know it's true. I was the most beautiful baby ever born on that estate. Well, it weren't Woodthorpe, weren't it? <laughs> Sorry, Woodthorpe. Don't forget. On, only joking. Lives above uh, an hairdresser's at Kilomarsh. <laughs> Come round, I'll get full address, lads. We'll sort this. Because I do know some characters, don't I, David? You do. I do. Right, I'm going, everybody. I'll upload all what we've put on today because I'm going to get back and I'm going out arranging funerals. I'll upload all what we've done today for you. I hope you've enjoyed today's performance from Little and Large, This and That, Arthur and Martha, whatever you want to call us. Yeah, think of a name for us. Mick and Dave, like Chas and Dave. So, yeah, all you want. I hope that we've entertained you a little bit and show you that funeral directors aren't all doom and gloom yet. He's on about doing his sending. But we've got to look on the bright side of things as well, haven't we, Dave? Yeah. That's why I took him to Motri Hospital to try and cheer him up. I know you're going to say, that's not, that's not cheering him up, you nutcase. But it does him, doesn't it? It does. He loves it. It's like an away day for me. It's like, you know, and he goes in and looks at how they're doing things and what they're doing and... Yeah, it's a, a right, it's a busman's holiday for him, he loves it, he absolutely... So I thought I'd take Dave with me. Went to Rotherham Hospital this morning and then we've been to Northern General today. Now I'm going to be on a funeral and now I'm going out to meet families to look after loved ones, what we will be looking after. I'm tired. Thanks for liking us channel, thanks for pressing that subscribe button, I love to see that going up. And if you want to see more, press my bell. Yeah, ring his bell. Ring my bell. There's no answer to that, but there's a bell on this apparently, if you press it, I don't know where it is, but somebody says, you've got a bell Michael, uh, and, and I've pressed it, and every time I put some on it rings, so yeah. If you're liking it, press that bell. Have a fantastic day. Neil and all the rest of you who always comment.